Hello Builder, let's talk about two of your favorite things, precast concrete and cold form steel. Precast concrete is known and loved. For how long? <laughs> A really long time. The Romans were quite fond of it, building much of their glorious infrastructure around the stuff, even the Colosseum. Cold form steel was not beloved by the Romans. Actually, they didn't know anything about it. But that's probably why the Roman Empire fell. The superior steel didn't come along until the 1850s and was perfected only about 100 years ago. So we have two materials, two sources, with two very different histories. Yet they both have one similar use, building some pretty great structures. Let's dig down a little deeper. Precast concrete is poured using forms in a big comfy building, so you don't need to really worry about rain or snow or plagues of locusts. It's also nice looking and can be prettied up with a ton of different designs and colors. This material is super durable too, whether it's used as a wall or ceiling. Trying to burn concrete is next to impossible, and Mother Nature would have to be really hysterical to even make a dent in it. That being said, precast can only be so big. Don't expect the Romans to put a roof over the Colosseum with concrete anytime soon. Even at its best, precast concrete is still heavy, and the numerous transport truck trips will dent your wallet. They're also pretty needy on the job site, requiring heavy lifts that take time, money, and a ton of labor energy. Then there's electrical and plumbing, don't get along with concrete very much, so they need to keep their distance. You'll need to either add in ugly drop ceilings or wonky bulkheads. Okay, so that's precast concrete. Now let's check out cold form steel. A cold form steel flooring system can have higher acoustic ratings than precast concrete and wood. It's also super strong. CFS can span large rooms and bear big loads, although we're not yet quite confident the Colosseum would be a good test site. CFS is made in a factory and to your project's exact specifications. But this next point is what we love most. It's really easy to use, like really easy. It's light, so in many cases, two guys can lift a beam. It also has pre-cut access holes, so that follow-up trades can work their magic with ease and not take up more space. It's also very solid and won't deteriorate or be eaten by hungry rodents or insects. Now onto the numbers. Plug all your costs into a calculator, and you'll see that the cost of building construction is often only 10% of the total cost of building ownership. Cold form steel's energy efficiency helps to lower that cost every minute the building is standing. Ka-ching! All of that being said, it can only go so high. 12 stories is currently the optimal limit, which is, oddly enough, the exact height of the Colosseum. Maybe someone should try to cover it. Anyway, with handy pre-cut holes in the joists for trades, Cold form steel does need a special fire stopping plan before construction begins. So we have precast concrete and cold form steel. Both are pretty fantastic products, meant for very special projects. Are you special? Is your project special? Let's talk about which is best for you, whether you're building a low-rise condo or looking for a quote to cover the Colosseum.